Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today is another episode of Vlogmas. I think we're day nine. <laughs> yes, we are day nine. Yes, we are day nine because it is also Mr. Benson's birthday. So that's kind of fun. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you guys about my top five herbs that I am growing right now. So uh, since it's Mr. Benson's birthday today, instead of showing you guys a Hanukkah picture, I'll insert some pictures after the video, um, just of our favorite moments that we've had and some fun times. But also today is going to be the day that I pull the shishito peppers, well, harvest some shishito peppers because every time there's some type of major event, he loves to have shishito peppers because they're delicious. <laughs> um, so. Today's a warm day again guys. It's 81 degrees out and so it was hotter than it was yesterday. So a lot of the vegetables are pretty happy because they got some nice and warmth. But we are supposed to get some rain tonight or tomorrow they said. Like 40% chance. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime I want to talk to you guys about some herbs that I feel are a great time to grow at this time of year. Now when it comes to herbs the one thing that you'll notice is that sometimes they will grow really, like they'll grow throughout that, that time and that season, but they may not grow a lot. So they won't die, but they won't really grow. So the ones I'm going to talk to you about today are ones that will really grow. So my first one, which is going to be my one that's growing like crazy, is marjoram. So let me show you that one. So this one is my marjoram plant. And as you can see, I know it says Creek Oregano goes over there, <laughs> but the marjoram has grown like crazy. And no matter how many times I trim this thing down, it just keeps growing and keeps growing and keeps growing. Now it's a very, very soft leaf that I use a lot for Italian cooking. It goes really well with the tomatoes and it smells amazing. But I'm not sure if it'll be one that'll hold up that well during the summer, just because it is such a soft plant. But for right now, it is growing like crazy. Now the next one I'm going to mention is my parsley. Now I have two types of parsley in my garden and both of them are doing really really well. So there's the curly parsley right here. Um, I use this a lot, a lot, a lot for meats and just soups, gumbos, everything like that. So I'm actually going to be growing a lot more curly parsley. And then let's get to the second one. So I'm try putting the camera this way, but parsley is very, very nice to cook with. Now that is something that I did not notice in the beginning because I never cooked with parsley and therefore I never really knew how to use it. But now that I am cooking with parsley and I've gotten good with cooking at parsley and realize that a lot of ingredients actually uses parsley, I'm growing it everywhere in my garden because I love using it. So this one is my Italian parsley, and as you guys can see, this one grew back like nobody's business. It had gone all the way down to about nothing because the rats and the bulls had ate it, but it has grown back in just a matter of a couple of weeks. Now the next one I want to talk to you guys about, which you'll see a lot of plants in my garden, is thyme. Um, thyme is going to be a great like fall, early winter crop because it grows a lot no matter where you have it at in your garden so if you have it in a, a plant or a spot ah, if you have it in a spot that is super super sunny then it's going to grow really really well and if you have it in part a spot that's like partially shade or somewhat shade it's still going to grow like it's not going to grow as well it would in the sun but it will still grow so up here are my thyme plants that I actually use the most. And I probably cut from these at least once every two days. Um, and that's each plant I cut from once every two days. So as you can see, it has grown like and kept its full bushiness with me using it a lot. Now my other ones are down here and I've let these ones grow out because they were gnawed down all the way to about the nub, like worse than this. I think this one, this one looks like this one a few weeks ago. 
and this one you couldn't even tell that there was a plant there but these have even grown back and these don't even get as much sun as the other ones do so my next one are going to be my chives now my chives I usually I took a big sniff off of these where I cut them to where they're probably about like down to here and as you can see they're already starting to grow back um, and normally I just have to take a few chives off in order to make whatever dish that I made but I wanted to make some butters so I cut a big portion of it off and even with Mia giving it that big of a haircut the chive is already starting to grow back and it's grown back a lot thicker this time too as well so the last one I want to talk to you guys about are the uh, mint families now the mint does really well in the fall and it also does really well in the early winter come january it may not like it because it's going to be too cold so it's not so much a winter crop as it is a fall and fall early winter crop so all of these things that i'm talking to you guys about they do really well right now which is late fall early winter and then well pretty much all of fall and then early winter but mint is one that will start to grow like wildflowers right now and you can be able to harvest a lot of the mint and dry it so that then you have mint when it's really burning like blistering cold outside and you really just need a hot glass of tea you'll have a lot of dried mint if you grow mint during the fall so I have several different types of mint I have a mojito mint, I have a peppermint, I have a lemon balm, which is also part of the mint family, and then I have catnip, which is also part of the mint family too as well. So my lemon balm and my catnip are both medicinal herbs, and then I use the uh, regular mint, the mojito mint, and the peppermint just as an herbal tea or just to add flavoring to something. But, so this right here is my catnip. It is so far enjoying itself because it's the only one in the medicinal garden bed because I haven't been able to start the other ones quite yet. So the cat, catnip is doing really well and not only can you use it for your cats but there also are several uses which I'll go over on Friday with you guys on how you can use catnip for people too as well. Then I have my lemon balm and if you guys haven't watched my lemon balm video I will put it down below but lemon balm is really good for medicinal purposes and this one is growing really really well right now that it's not in the really hot heat and it's also not in the really really cold weather so this is the perfect time to grow your lemon balm out and harvest it and start drying it and then the best mint or the mint plant that does the best at this time of year is going to be the mojito mint it does a lot better than the regular mint and it gives you really nice giant leaves so if you're wanting to make something like mojitos or something like that then the mojito mint is where you want to go and the peppermint is also happy too as well. So I hope that gives you guys some ideas on different herbs that you should be growing right now. Now there are a lot of herbs, like I said, that will grow, like they won't die. Like my rosemary is not dying, my sage isn't dying. Mostly the variegated sage is not as happy to grow right now, but it's there. Uh, my oregano does well, but it doesn't grow up. It kind of just kind of sprawls out. Um, so there are plants are our herbs that will be fine right now they just won't grow out to where you can harvest them and start drying them like the other ones that I've named so I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of mr. Benson for his birthday and then I'm also going to plant some French breakfast radishes because right now my radish game is weak so I'm going to fill my medicinal herb bed with some radishes while I wait for my other medicinal herbs to kind of get a lot bigger so that then I can plant those closer to the spring. So until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space will provide you with tons of food. Bye guys!